when it arrives, the Galaxy S23 will have some big shoes to fill, but we are confident that, that Samsung can pull it off with its new flagship phones. Among these year's releases, the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus felt a lot more irritative than innovative, but the Galaxy S22 Ultra had, a, had no such problem bringing the Galaxy Note back to life. Rumors about the Samsung Galaxy S23 are just starting to pick up but we wanted to share what's out there. So here's what we have heard about the Galaxy S23 so far. The Samsung Galaxy S23 has been tipped to ditch Samsung's Exynos chip in favor of Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. A leak says that the S23 and S23 Plus will both get an upgraded 12MP front camera for better selfies. This would fit with Samsung looking for alternative chipsets, even those from MediaTek rather than current partner Qualcomm. Obviously, none of these are 100% confirmation, but Samsung might still be interested in improving its Xenos brand. We'd welcome this considering that the Xenos 2200 failed to meet our expectations, lagging behind the Snapdragon, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in our Galaxy S22 Plus benchmark tests. The only other thing we have heard is that Samsung might refer to the Galaxy S23 internally as Project Diamond. Previously, some thoughts this code name instead referred to a third floor level, but that's apparently not the case according to DSCC analysis Ross Young. There's a long time for Samsung to finalize some Galaxy S23 details, so here's what we are hoping to see. A post from famed Samsung leaker Ice Universe on Twitter claims that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will have a whooping 200 megapixel main camera, a holdover humor from the earlier days of S22 speculation. This camera will supposedly be optimized for several years. We are not sure if that means Samsung plans to continually improve the camera over the years with software updates or if the Korean phone maker will improve the 200 megapixel sensor following the S23 Ultra's launch. The Galaxy S22 launched in February, so we'd expect a similar timeline for the Galaxy S23. The Galaxy S21 series came out in January 2021, but Samsung had to make room for the Galaxy S21 FE, so it likely pushed back the S22's debut. For the Galaxy S23, that probably means an early 2023 appearance, phone release windows are pretty predictable nowadays and we don't expect Samsung to divide it from this, though the coronavirus pandemic and chip shortages have created some delayed phone launches in recent memory. This camera rumor has gained additional believably since a new report says Samsung's working on a second gen 200 megapixel sensor and we will use it in the S23 if all goes to plan. However, another leak says it may not be second generation ISOCELL HP3 sensor Samsung goes for after all, but the older ISOCELL HP1. If you are curious as to what this sensor is capable of, Samsung has shown off a video of the 200 megapixel HP1 camera sensor in action by snapping a photo of a cat and then blowing up that images to fit a 20x into 22 meter canvas that was hung for of the side of a building. It is hard to tell for sure in a YouTube video and not in person, but the image looked impressive. Details appear to be very crisp with individual cat hairs picked out. This is something even cameras on some of the best phones can struggle with due to their lower megapixel counts. Samsung's video definitely suggests 
suggests that a 200 megapixel main camera could be the key to unlocking more out of its galaxy phone photography. There's a long time for Samsung to finalize some Galaxy S23 details, so here's what we are hoping to see. Better battery life. The battery life on all three Galaxy S22 models is in a word disappointing. Even the Galaxy S22 Ultra with its 5000mAh power pack couldn't last as long as phones like the OnePlus 10 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max. The mid-range Galaxy A53 doesn't have stellar battery life either. Samsung needs to up its game with battery life, shrinking the power packs from the Galaxy S21 to the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 was not a wise decision and obviously hurt both phones in testing. Better cooling. It's no secret by now that the Samsung 8 Gen 1 chip runs hot. This causes it to hit throttling problems, especially in intense games. Samsung also got caught intentionally throttling some apps to preserve system performance. While the move ultimately ended up as a shady or downright heinous for some, it proved to one point the Galaxy S22 needed better cooling. The OnePlus 10 Pro features a new cooling system that makes the phone noticeably more comfortable after long gaming sessions than the Galaxy S22 Ultra. In my experience, we are not asking for something on the level of the best gaming phones, but the S22 can get really hot. We want to see the Galaxy S23 fix this. Snapdragon